Well, hello there, friends. On this Sunday, March 28th, 2021, it is about maybe 2, 2 p.m., 3 p.m. I'm not quite sure. So, went to church service, spent some time at the monastery. Just, uh... Some good thinking, if you will. It uh, continues to go well, you know. You, um, I hope everyone went to church, right? You gotta, not just once, gotta go, but uh, keep on going as often as you can. And not just on Sunday, on whatever days you can, go, go to, both in terms of your own spiritual growth and cleansing and I don't know clearing up the murkiness or seeing something in the murkiness but also the fellowship too yeah the the, the more you go the more the opportunity kind of gets created for something right it's uh, it's good just keep keep meeting more and more people you know I think people also see you're a regular and just in general, will introduce themselves to you more. It's been good. I'd say probably some of the most comfiest services have been those where it was on a weekday or so, and, you know, maybe towards the evening and there's not as many people. It just feels a little bit comfier. Uh, I, I can see the place for both, you know. The one where there's a whole lot of people and all that, and sometimes you kind of just, just something a little bit more low-key and intimate if you will just easier to kind of take it all in when it's quiet and get to know people it's uh it's good um it's uh you know some people i'm getting a bit closer with if you will um you know you see more regularly have have deeper conversations there's one uh, cool gentleman around sort of my age a little bit younger see him more often now and we kind of chat, uh, cool dude, cool dude, looking forward to talking to him more, you know, it's, uh, not on a completely similar plight and path, but a little bit, and, uh, yeah, it's just, just, uh, based and red-pilled, if I might, just being like, well, it's, it's kind of cool to, that thing, to get, that take that thing that you see off the, in, on the internet, and then, like, into the real world of like oh yeah this is this is cool uh meet and talk to somebody like that but um it's uh it definitely has made me the more the more that i keep doing that and the more people i interact with and meet and just keep keep pushing to get out of that comfort zone and all that stuff the more you just see how truly truly dysfunctional um i have been an m you know and what did both in terms of just you know all that isolation and not just any old type of isolation but that kind where you're at home you're not necessarily reflecting on something. It's this, you're at home on the internet by yourself. So it's like a special, an especially kind of awful. You know, what in the years and years of doing all that, how completely disconnected that you become from people and, and out of touch and, and the connection that you lose with them that you know, what going to church and, and, and what have you, and just meeting people, having conversations, you know, outside of any sort of work thing where you're, where you have to do it, right? It's your job. But it's a thing where you kind of like, man, I, sh I should go out. I should get, you know, something that should be normal that you're, you're like shocked and whatever. And like, wow, uh, by, and the other side too that all that isolation and all that time spent alone in your head 
but like I said, you're not really reflecting on anything fantastic. It's just a lot of time spent on the internet staring at computers and just these, these random little, I don't know, the... I'm reminded of just something that hell by the dashboard light said. So I'm just giving him, giving him, giving him credit here. And we don't, you know, it's people watching this. You may not be a fan of all of his opinions and stuff. We don't need to get into that. I do not. It's just, you know, when somebody makes a good point about something, it's, it's worth bringing up. Um, and that how at a certain point in life, I think I remember saying that, you know, there might be pictures of you as a kid doing this or doing that. And at some point, the only pictures that exist is just you, you know, sitting and staring at a computer. And then that's all that exists is you staring at a computer. And at some point, there's not even pictures of that anymore. And how... Yeah, you know, I really began to reflect on the last 20-ish years... I mean, it, it really is. I, I look at our photo books. It's, it's pictures of me as a kid with my dad doing this or that or with friends or something. And then at some point from high school until now, you know, at some point you see those high school pictures where it's, oh, this is you sitting at a computer. This is you sitting in your room staring at a computer. Oh, here's another picture of you sitting in your room staring at a computer. And then at some point, there's not even any more pictures of you. It's just, you know, if you want a picture of yourself for anything, it's a, let, let me go take this awful selfie of myself. And that's all you have. And and this, it's like that one memory. It's like that meme too of the, um, there's a, there's a, it's like a stick figure drawing of a, it's like a dude sitting on his computer and then has that like thinking back moment. And he's remembering himself sitting at his computer 10 years ago and starts crying and you know it's like oh all these great memories and and you realize that yeah this is this is very much your life the last 20 years what have i done <laughs> just what memory truly stands out lots and lots of time sitting in your room by yourself staring at a computer or maybe laying in bed staring at a phone once that started becoming a thing just completely engrossed in some thing on the internet or game or something like that wow what wonderful effect did this have on you you know Oh, there's that's gonna get me a copyright strike. You know, what effect did that have on you? This long term isolation, staring at computers. You know, what damage did that do to you too? And I don't mean that in some sort of oh boo hoo, I'm a victim, but what did you do to yourself? I do not think, you know, I, I've heard it kind of repeated at some of these services with the hospital, or sorry, the church is sort of a hospital for the soul. And man, have I really, really lately thought about how truly how truly ill I actually am. Dysfunctional and ill, sick, whatever term you want to use. It's, you know, not just the physical side. It's it's everything, you know, the, the sort of spiritual, mental, emotional, social side of it. You know, what effect did all of it have on you? All the years of just
binge drinking coffee and all the fast food and the alcohol and 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 the pornography and the the and you know fapping and just being alone not really being around people just just getting into these weird little obsessions on the internet of or just you know in life of of like mu oh you know muscle and exercise blah blah just spending a whole lot of time alone not really mulling over anything real and meaningful du jour if you will just, just random these these little thought patterns just just trivial little things um should I quit coffee? Should I drink it? Ba 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 ba. Build this and that. Should do this. You you just really start to see the dysfunctional patterns of behavior in yourself, even as you're just kind of out and about, and how you view things and other people. Uh, you've, I've completely lost touch of with any, it's not just, you know, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, you're reconnecting with other human beings and that thing where you're by yourself, but you've kind of lost touch, you know, in your solitude and alone time, you know, you might think, well, you're already in your head and already thinking too much, but it's, it's almost not even that you've just, um, it's sort of this strange paradox where for all that alone time, you've actually, ironically enough, also lost touch with any sort of inner voice that you may have had. That's... There seems to be no discernment, right? There seems to be truly no discernment. Who are you, right? What should you actually be doing? Are these things that I'm thinking about, is this coming from me of what I should be doing or is this something else? Man, I got to tell you folks, I, I don't mean to go all like anti-technology or any of that stuff, but I have truly, oh, just kind of finding that pattern in myself, you know, you, you I mean, there's a lot of great things on the internet and, and with YouTube and technology, but man, do you start to see the downside that it can also have an effect on in yourself just you know you get up in the morning and you can't just you can't even just enjoy a nice little quiet whatever you're you're already i'm gonna get up i'm gonna open the phone start staring at my email what's going on here check notifications blah 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 i'm gonna sit down to eat dinner and i can't just sit and eat it and maybe have a little you know just listening on what my parents are talking about or have a little conversation with them I need to pu plug in a pair of headphones and listen to a podcast or something like that because I need I need some kind of stimulation, right? It's you know you get up in the morning and it's the same thing with with coffee. I I just you just gotta have that thing, just gotta have that little stimulation of something to kick you. You absolutely cannot bear to stand the silence. You've always seemingly got to be doing something, got to be consuming something, got to be poked and prodded with something. Yeah, I just had multiple of these days where, okay, you know, it's it's late at night. Let's do some reading. 
you know, like get, get rid of this screen time, just kind of unplug, put your focus somewhere else. And you know, you, you look at the clock and it's like freaking almost one in the morning and you think like, what, what the hell did I just do? Staring at my phone for what? Learning what? Thinking about what? I mean, it's not bad, but just... Man, what did... What... Wow. And so, yeah, I mean, good luck. Good luck, you know, you've been staring at your phone for hours now. Oh, well, blue screen, schmoo screen, whatever. Yeah, good luck trying to get any sleep then. You lay down in bed and just all... It's not even that you're not tired. I mean, you try to read a book and that's when you fall, start beginning yourself waning and falling asleep, but you lay down and you just have all this stuff going through your head. Oh man, just, just more... more computers, more internet, more staring at at screens, at this and that. You know, you do it as part of your job, you do it as part of your interest, as, as this, as that. Once again, certainly has its place, but man, I don't know about anyone else do I feel like utter and complete saturation from internet information just all of this noise you know and i don't mean to say that in some derogatory way but it's the the, the this and the that where you can't even you struggle to just open a freaking book and just be alone with that inform like oh it's not exciting enough you need some kind of other stimulus right And no wonder, no wonder you cannot seemingly get in touch with anything inside of here. Little figments and things like that. Just a whole, a whole lot of confusion otherwise that Yes. Then you begin to start to get an inkling of how truly, how truly dysfunctional and sick you are and have been. That you didn't even really realize the half of it. You know, I just need to take care of a few things in life and surely that's going to work it out, right? I just need to fix my back, fix my sleep, you know, lose weight, build muscle, build these types of muscles, get this kind of a job, make this much money, make more money. When is it ever going to be enough, right? How much will ever be enough? How much muscle will ever be enough? W which kind of muscle, right? I should only talk to these kind of talk to these kinds of people. So, well, you can get something out of them, right? Not just freaking talk to human beings. I don't know. On and on and on and on and on and on it goes. Wow. 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 I mean, 
is this is this indeed spiritual sickness and the various things that it manifests in in all the routes it kind of like a river just goes down and touches the different roads it passes by I don't know wow